In this video, you'll learn how to calculate the grade you need on your final exam to finish with a certain grade in the course. If you're new here, I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who holds a master's degree in statistics. So this is an example from the course I'm currently taking this summer. It's a course to get ahead in the teaching salary grid. It's a organizational psychology course and the grades are weighted as you can see on the screen. The first assignment is worth 10%, it was just a little case study. And then there's a midterm with 50 multiple choice. And then there's another assignment, another case study worth 10%. And then that's, uh, let's see, 45%, 55%. So then that means the exam is worth 45%. And the exam we know is out of 75 questions. And now the question I ask myself is what grade do I need? How many uh, multiple choice here, this uh, question mark here, how many do I need to get a, an A plus? Because I, I want to get an A plus and given my current grades, given the 192 and 100, it's pretty uh, attainable. And Carleton University, that's a university I'm taking my course, an A plus is if I get 90% and above, then I get an A plus, right? So that's, that's a key thing. So how do I calculate that? Well, how about we learn how to calculate my final grade dependent on by plugging in different values, right? So let's call it uh, final grade. So maybe we'll call it F. It's, uh, it's, depend it's a function that depends on X, which is the, the number, the, the, the grade I get on my final exam. That's one way to see it. So how about we do this? And then after that, we need to calculate the points I get. So if I got 100% on my first assignment, that means I got 100% of 10 points. So I get, really, I get 10 over 10, which is my, my grade, right, out of 10 points. So that's just the weight. So it's the grade times the points. So if we write it here, essentially it's the sum, that's what this sigma notation is, of the grade, gi, times the uh, the weight, right? So then that's the grade is a percentage and the weight is an integer from zero to 100. So then we have 10 over 10 times 10. So I got really just 10 points. And then I, my other grade is 92 or 46 out of 50, which if you do times two, it gives you the percentage times the weight. So that's now 35 points. And then plus the other one, again, it's 10 over 10 times 10, the 10 cancel, that's 10 points. And then plus my grade, which is X over 75 times the weight of this thing. So 45, right? So how about what I calculate the grade I have in the course without taking the final exam? So if let's say I get zero on the final exam, the last term goes away. So I have uh, the first one, I just have 10 and then plus 0 0.92 times 35 and then plus 10 again, right? And then if I press equal, that's 52.2%. So my final grade, if I get zero in the course is 52.2%. And that makes sense given that I got 52.2 out of 55 essentially, right? And my grades are close to hundred. So it makes sense that I got most of those 55 points. So now that we have a formula, we can realize that this is really just a function of X. There's only, uh, a constant and the slope and then you have your variable x so it's really a line right so here we have desmos it's an online calculator it's free i'll put all the links in the description below and then we know that the constant is 52.2 uh, so that's the initial value the y-intercept and then my slope well depends on how many questions i get right so x is my number of answered questions answered correctly and then that's over 75 of course so that's my slope here is uh, this, but then I need to times by the, the weight of that exam, right? So 45 over 75. And we also know that X is going to be between zero if I don't answer any correctly on the exam. So if I just write my name or I don't write the exam and the max number of questions I can answer correctly is to get all of them correctly. So it's 75. So now we have something that looks pretty good. And in Desmos, the thing that's nice is we can uh, create sliders. So, you know, let's do Q naught is equal to one. It goes, uh, it's steps of one and it's between zero and 75. And then I can do F at Q 
Q naught. Uh, so then that's my grade depending on the slider, right? So if I answer zero questions correctly, I get zero. Uh, I get 52 as my final grade. If I answer all of them, I get 97.2. So then I can ask myself when, what grade do I need? How many questions do I need to get at least 90, right? So it's essentially asking, we have this thing, y uh, is equal to 90. What's the point of intersection between those two lines? And here Desmos tells you right away that it's, uh, that it's 63. But let's say we, we do it mathematically because we now have the uh, equation. We have two equations, right? We have one that y is equal to 90 because that's what I need to, to, to have an A+. Plus. And the second equation is that y is equal to 52 0.2, and then if we rearrange it, we would get plus 45 over 75, and then that's uh, times x, right? And the, these are all redu reducible fractions, but I'll leave it at, at that for now. And then we can just solve, right? Because we have 1 and 2, and then we do 1 is equal to 2, we do y is equal to y, and then we get 90 is equal to 52.2 plus uh, 45 over 75 x and then I'm trying to solve for x so then I would do minus 52.2 on the on both sides so then maybe I'll just do the math on the side here 90 minus 52.2 is equal to 37.8 and then I think they're both divisible by 15 so how about we just uh, that's 0 0.6, so I think that would be 3 over 5. X, that's if you uh, simplify the 45 over 75. So then I can uh, divide 37.8 by 3 over 5, or I can multiply it by 5 and divide by 3, whatever you want. So 37.8 um, times 5, and then we divide by 3, and I get 63. Right, so I get that x is equal to 63, and that's the number of questions correctly, answered correctly. So I need at least, at least 63, right? Because if I get 63, I finish with a 90 in the course on the dot, and if I get more than 63, then I, I get even more. I really hope you found this video helpful and you've enjoyed it. I thought it'd be a good time while I just do some quick Desmos edits to plug my new online course that I host on Udemy. The link will be in the description below. And it's a course on how to use Desmos for students and teachers. So wh whether you're teaching a course or you're taking a course that has anything to do with math, you're probably gonna enjoy the course. The course takes less than an hour to complete. So make sure to check it out on Udemy. Again, the link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you for doing the work. Mm -hmm.